everyone welcome back to the channel thank you for joining it's been ages um today we're doing a straight pour with uh one of the colors is mixed with a deco arts pure white satin enamel and i'm going for a cloud to be the main kind of composition i'm using that to control my composition I'm going to give you a heads up. I was rusty with this pour. It did turn out really nice and I'm glad I did not scrape it. It was a bit rusty. It's been a while. Um, one thing I did not do is check my paint consistency right before I poured. Sometimes things can thicken up and you know once you mix your paints you may your paints might be the perfect consistency and then you kind of come back to them and they're a little bit thicker. So always check your consistencies before you actually do your pour. And you'll see I struggled a little bit with even just spreading the base. And when I was spreading out the base, you'll see here in a second, um, I knew that my consistency was a tad bit thick. Instead of scraping it back into a cup and thinning it out, I just went with it. So maybe it wasn't too thick. The painting turned out really nice. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll s this paint here that I'm putting in the cup, maybe, so that's my indecisive picking up cups and putting them back down, I'll show you in a second, let's see, there we go, this is the one with the Deco Art Pure White Satin Enamel, and that's going to create uh, like a cloud, so I'm calling this the Cloudy Street Pour. And I only put one layer of that in my cup. I'm almost finishing layering the cup and then we'll pour it out. But you'll see when I'm doing the base that I kind of struggled a bit and I had to get my palette knife and spread out the base. That's too thick, but maybe not too thick because it turned out well. So. I'll say it's easier if it was a tad thinner. Um, what else? I hope you guys checked out the intro in the be beginning of this video. I am so excited that I was asked to be a part of the Fluid Art Boutique in Delray, Florida. And I'll be giving in-person classes over three days, the 8th, 9th, and 10th of October. Let me know in the comments if you guys are coming. Um, I will link the website for Fluid Art Boutique in the description. I really hope to see some of you guys there. It would be great to put faces with names and just meet some of you. Lots of amazing artists and you can check out all the information um, on the website and pick and choose your courses that you'd like to take and it's going to be fun. I cannot wait. So I hope to see you guys there. Let me know again in the comments if you're going to be joining. So you can see here I kind of struggled a bit um, spreading this paint around. So then I knew I was like my consistencies are off. But I just kind of went with it. And it's the painting so you can see how things are running at different speeds. And that's just a little bit too thick. So my DIY pouring medium, 25% roughly. I don't measure. 25% uh, golden regular gloss gel, gel gloss. Um, and then 75% American flood flow troll. And I do roughly two to three parts, one part paint, two to three parts of the DIY pouring medium and water too thin. You can check out the description, there's loads of info on that. Right, so I just wanted to jump in and say hi and I'm gonna let you guys enjoy this pour. Let me know if you're gonna make it to Fluid Art Boutique and let me know what you guys think of this painting. Do you want to see more of these? And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for joining. Bye guys!